Lush Ibi, and you. Welcome back to another one. I've always been interested in, you know, who has migrated over to North America, particularly the States and, and, and Canada, uh, that have sort of an Arab background. And yeah. it's not something that <clears throat> mainstream media talks about, I think. I feel like particularly after you know, 9-11, 2001, and yep. it's something that they really buried. Yeah, and yeah. I guess this comes down to like another video, another topic when we talk about identity and, 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 and pride versus shame and how people have actually buried that part of them to get a job or to be accepted or giving in to social pressure that happened, you know, shortly after 9-11, the entire, you know, environment changed as yeah. far as... Yeah. You, Most definitely. You know, what being an Arab meant to people that never really thought about Arabs before. Kind of like the new boogeyman. Yeah. So I, I, I'm curious to see, you know, I found this video, top 10 Americans who are surprisingly Arab. Very intrigued. I don't mind Very that. Very curious. Yeah. I think that'll kind of help boost up, you know, that motivation factor. We feel involved a little bit, you know? Yeah, yeah, not, not just uh, shawarma places and meat pies and shisha spots, you know? Something a little bit more. I could live off that, to be honest. So. Facts. At number 10, we have Jenna Dewan Tatum. Now, what? Jenna Dewan Tatum, she is an American actress and a dancer. And Dewan. she started her career as a backup dancer for Janet Jackson, Ooh. who was the sister of the late Michael Jackson. And then later on, she worked with... Bro, we know who Janet Jackson is. Come on. We know who Janet Jackson is. Janet Jackson is. Sister of the late Michael Jackson. Jackson. Well, the... Janet Jackson has a beautiful career. She can stand on her own. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Anyways. Cool. Other than Michael Jackson, like obviously, like she has her own path. Yeah, big time. Like, I mean, I was a huge Janet Jackson yeah. fan growing up. <laughs> I have, I have four sisters, had so to, had to explain. It was natural. <laughs> Once you see Janet Jackson, you automatically know who it is. Like, Straight up. Just... Now, number nine brings us Wentworth Miller. Oh no way! But, oh yeah, he's what? I think, I think he's part Lebanese. No. Or but he <gasps> didn't say where the other one was from. No, he didn't. Tatum. No. No. Did not mention. Just said she was Arab. She was Arab. Arab so background. What she did. But yeah, who she right. danced for. Let's see Mr. Yo, Miller. Mr. Prison Break? I used to shave my head actually, and I've had people say that I'm like a mix of Wentworth Miller and Channing Tatum hey. kind of merged together. I don't know guys, I don't know, I don't know. I've had a couple of, of girls back in the day, a few females, you know what I mean? Yes, I can dance. Yes, I can break out of a prison. Maybe the, those two things kind of influenced their decision. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, shout out to Wentworth Miller, man. Let's shout go. Shout out to Zacho. Hey, <laughs> Zacho, one of one of our one of our youngest fans. Yeah, uh, Zacho, big up to you. Uh, Wentworth Miller was born in the UK, and he's <laughs> probably it. best known for playing Michael Schofield in Michael the Schofield. Show, Let's go. Prison Break. Yeah, one of my all-time favorites. He has a very recognizable face in Hollywood, but not just in Hollywood. I love how he like smashed that show and then completely disappeared. Disappeared. He's yeah, like, yeah. yo, I'm gonna like make one of the best shows ever. And then, yo, he went into the show called The Flash. I don't know if you know it. Okay. He's one of the bad guys. Oh, cool. All around the world, everybody knows Wentworth Miller. But did you know that his dad is part African-American and Jamaican, and his mother is part Syrian and Lebanese? Most what? people thought he was just straight Dang. white. Next up on Shout the out to Syria, Salma Lebanon. Hayek. Now, who doesn't Salma know Hayek. Salma Hayek? Salma right? Hayek. Well, yeah. if you don't know her, okay. now you're going to know her. Salma All right. Hayek is often associated with her Mexican ancestry. However, she is also... Salma Hayek is often associated from her Mexican ancestry because she often associated herself so. for, with that ancestry and she has, I think, proactively distanced herself so from her Arab, from her region, Arab yeah. region. Whether it was a strategic decision to further her career or for whatever reason, it made more sense in the States, it made more business sense to uh, attract to the Latino market, um, whatever the case may be. But I particularly don't like to talk about Salma Hayek when it comes to like famous Arabs in, in America because she showed a lot of shame for her Lebanese background, even yeah. though her name is full Leb, like Salma Hayek. Like it, it's, there's no, yeah. there, there, there's no confusion about what her name is. Like if I read it on a piece of paper, it's like, yo, she's Arab, she's Leb. But then she goes around and she has her little Spanish accent, you know? Which and then, is a 
forced. It's like one yeah, of the and then forced. she pops onto social media. Uh, claiming, you know, that she's Lebanese whenever the media is talking about Lebanon or whenever there's like a, a crisis or something like that's cool and everything. Don't get me wrong. Like all help is, is, is appreciated, but not if you're going to be like an opportunist about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Only when there's something uh, that, that could bring you fame or recognition, you want to jump into the bandwagon. And exactly. Exactly. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I, I have a like, you know, hard feelings yeah, yeah. I know for, for, for so her. Of Lebanese descent. So yes, she's of both Lebanese and Mexican descent. Ever since the year 1989, Selma Hayek has starred in many films, including Frida, very good movie, Grown Ups 2, and many others. She's a, she's a Latina in every movie she does. Yeah, I know. Like she plays the role with the accent yeah. and like, she's like a real immigrant in mm -hmm. all her movies. And she, she, I don't know what she's done, if she's ever portrayed like a Lebanese or Arab before, but in all her movies, she's, she's Latina. She's also an advocate for a victim of domestic abuse, as well as immigration rights, and also she's a voice for refugees. Candy Lightner comes in at number seven. She's Who's probably that? the least known name on this list. Who that? But Candy Lightner, she was the founder of Mothers Against Drunk Drive. She looks like the girl from, uh, she looks like Tokyo from uh, Money Heist. Hey. Oh, that's true. Shout out to Money Heist. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Better known as Mad. Mad. She started this organization. Yo, the founder of Mad. No way. Yeah, Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Let's go. After her 13-year-old daughter was killed by a drunk driver on May 3rd, 1980. Now, the sentence that was given to the repeat offender of driving while intoxicated really got her so angry and she had to do something about Yo, it. Yo, where's she from? Where's she from? Where's she from? has grown into the largest crime victims assistance organization in the entire nice. world. If you guys don't know, for my international family members, mad, all right? Mothers Against Drunk Driving. If you are caught driving under the influence, MAD shows up to your court date. They speak to the judge. They speak to your lawyer. They make sure you get the worst possible punishment. All right? There is a MAD fee that you have to pay. So you get your ticket. You get whatever your penalty is, and then there's a mad fee. You owe Mothers Against Drunk Driving money for what you've done. So this is the real deal. Like, this organization is no joke. Like, I like this organization, though, because you shouldn't be driving under the influence regardless. Absolutely not, for sure. And not just drunk driving, it's influence, influence like, everything. you know... It, all types and yeah big shout out to her man that's crazy yo i'm so proud yeah, yeah. that's that's yeah. amazing three million members i got like shivers right now for the organization but yeah the founder she's of arab descent as well this may or may not come oh as but i wish i wish we knew which arab yeah i know mm. the paul abdul paul yeah. abdul the american at number five is vince vaughn what he's a famous actor producer <laughs> comedian and a screenwriter yo vince, i had no idea vince vaughn like the, like like isn't that like Va the, the, Vaughn, that was German? It has a it has a silent G H yeah, in his. Yeah, that's... Actually, the silent U G H. Yeah, 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 it's just V A N. <laughs> yeah. Vince Vaughn. <laughs> that's crazy. Vaughn's paternal grandmother is of Lebanese descent. Hey, he has a mixed background what? in that. Yeah, yeah, he, he looks, looks Lebanese. Lebanese. He looks Leb there. <laughs> in this, it's, in it's that the picture, hair, bro. It's the white hair. Yeah, yeah. Like, and like the tired eyes. The tired eyes and <laughs> yeah. that smile. Like, like, he looks like a business owner here. <laughs> he, just, he just made it last night to the wedding. Yes, I made it. Yes, hi, hi. How are you? How are you? Uh, my wife is here somewhere. Somewhere I have to go looking, uh -huh. but I'll find it. Oh, hey, hey. Bing is where. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, has its roots in Holland, England, Italy, Ireland, German, Scotland, and even Switzerland. Okay. So he's kind of a mix of pretty much everything. United Nations. Oh, well, that's European, anyways, whatever. That but area. Yeah. yeah, but his 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 father's mother is Lebanese. That's, that's all. Sick. That's all that matters in this whole thing. All right. That's Vince sick. Vaughn. He's, he's he's Lebanese. You ask me, Vince Vaughn, Lebanese. Done. Carlos, he's Lebanese, guys. Game over. Comes to our house, we talk about Lebanon, we eat Lebanese food, we, you know what I mean? We smoke. Okay. <laughs> Many people don't Get associate that. She, him with she being shot. of Arab descent, but he clearly is. Number four brings us Andre Agassi. Now he's a mm. former tennis world champion. Yo, look at that, look at that hair though. Mm. Andre Agassi, he went, he went, he, he, near the end of his career, he went like fully blonde, uh, blonde, bald. 
<laughs> I'm just looking at his luscious, beautiful hair while I said that. But yeah, look at that, bro. I had luscious, beautiful hair at one point. <laughs> you know, it's like aerodynamics. Look at that mullet. Yeah, bro. He crushed it. You know, it helped him with wind speed and. 100%, bro. <laughs> Champion and Andre Agassi Ooh. is of Arab descent through his father's side, who was a former Olympic mm. boxer for Iran, as well as he came from Armenian and. You gonna say it or do you want me to? Iran? Right. Yeah. What the flip? That's not Arab. I mean, shout out to all I my shout out, shout out to all, all the Persians. You know, our cousins, our regional cousins, definitely Middle Eastern, right? But bro, like, come on, man, you can't you can't say that Persians are, are Arabs yeah. and and vice versa. No, it's not like a bad thing, but They're it's just Persians. not it's just not <laughs> historically accurate or culturally yeah. accurate. Like Persians. Yeah. Arabs, two different things. Yeah. Same region. Yeah. You know, Cultural same influences, kind of everything. Thing. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, all yeah. similar, but. But That's anyways, all right, all right, all right. Well, well, you know, we'll, we'll let it shout slide. Out. Shout, shout out. out, shout out to Agassi, shout out to Iran, shout out to the whole gang. Inheritance. Let's go. Shakira, Shakira comes in at number three. Now, while she's most I knew it, yeah. famous yeah, yeah. for her Colombian roots, the gorgeous Shakira, she's also of Lebanese descent. Her yeah. Lebanese parental grandparents immigrated to New York City in the oh, United States. Dang. And a lot of Lebanon. her influences are from Arabic belly dancing yeah. as mm. well as the Dumbek drum. So that explains. Uh, I think he meant Derbeke. Derbeke, yeah. So Shakira, unlike Salma Hayek, came onto the scene with Hips Don't Lie. Yeah. Remember featuring White Club Jean? Yeah. Oh, baby, when you talk like that, you make a woman go mad. So be wise. No, you know, none in the sounds of my body. She did not ignore her Arab heritage. Unlike Salma Hayek, pure Arab name. Apparently that was supposed to be Shakira. I, I, that kind of scared me away for a bit, but. Yo, yo keep, you can keep doing that, bro. They know that that, that imitation was on point. Coming okay? through with the vocals. You know that, that Shakira was on point, all right? And I'm, pr I'm proud of her because when she came out, she sang and she performed and she toured. Represent. In the middle, like she's done the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Even remember the uh, halftime show, Super Bowl? Mm-hmm. It was uh, her and Jello. Okay. Just the last, the last. Yeah, 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 yeah. She had a little, uh, like a little thirty seconds of belly dancing. Yeah. Yeah. That was. It was. It was pretty good. Just Shout crazy. out Shakira. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. That's what I like to hear. Combination of Colombian. <laughs> and Number two is Ariana Grande. Um, that was more like Kermit the Frog to me right there. Ariana Grande. Huh? No, not something that you order from Starbucks. Although she's probably the same size, but that little ball of talent with a ponytail. You know that that little where, where girl? Where do you think she's gonna be from? Where do you think she's gonna be from? I'm gonna throw in. Uh, let's see. I just we're not touching the Gulf areas at all. No. Like this this is really the the Levant. Yep. Most of them are from from there. So I'm gonna go with Syria. Well, listen, it's one of the three: Palestinian, Lebanese, or Syrian. Mm -hmm. That's for me right there. Or Iraq, maybe. I don't well, think Iraq. No, eh? No. Okay, let's see. And she found out that a lot of her genetic heritage comes from Algeria or Morocco. Hey, and those countries, of hey. course, are predominantly we are Arab here. countries. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. So we were completely off completely about off. that. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea. That's, that's insane. Algeria and Morocco? Wow. Nice. Damn. Ariana Grande, let's go. Well, Fresh Montana is going to be happy to hear that. that she just got like millions of new fans just because of that. <laughs> And finally, number one in this episode is the Apple Founders. What? Did you know that? No. Nope. You're probably watching yep. this on an iPhone or an iPad. Yeah, bro. Lebanese? No, his father was Syrian. Mm, probably. Yep. Close enough. Or even a Mac laptop. Yep. Now, this guy, Steve Jobs, Neighbors. invented all those devices. Neighbors, now, yeah. the Apple founder as well as... How amazing is that, eh? Unreal. Yes. I know. He was born to Abdel Fattah Jadali, who was a Syrian Muslim, and his mother was Joanne Shebel, whose parents objected to her. Abdel Fattah went ahead and picked himself up a nice Joanne. That's what he did. Abdel Fattah, Joanne.com, let's go. Her relationship with a Muslim. But Bravo. either way, they gave birth to Steve Jobs, but then he was adopted as a baby by Paul and Clara Jobs. But okay. no, the late Apple founder Steve Jobs is of Arab descent. Damn, but he was sir. but then he was adopted. But it's interesting, just going back to what I had said before about mainstream media 
covering up, you know, the any Arab de descendants. When they did the Steve Jobs movie, yeah. they were like pushing the fact that his dad was Italian. Okay. They I didn't completely watch it, but... they completely covered up the fact that his dad is Syrian. Wow. Because, you know, at the time, Syria was uh was was going through whatever it is and 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 it's not labeled as a as a friendly or an ally. Like it just becomes grossly political yeah it does you know even though the facts are the facts like the man is not even with us anymore and you're still Trying speaking to... you know f like false yeah about him and his father and like embarrassing yeah embarrassing. let us know if you guys know any other uh, amazing arabs that we should uh, take note of we're probably gonna do another video about this stuff i really enjoyed this um but yeah i mean big shout out to the to the arab culture and uh, I'm excited. Yo, think about it. If if these are some of the current Arabs yeah. that, you know, the past generations were able to create. Yeah. Imagine, imagine what, like, now what's going to pop yeah. up now. Yeah. You know what I mean? How many, like, business owners and, 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 and tech gurus and celebrities, celebrities and all that actually have, like, even more Arab background now that even more have, have migrated. Yeah. Damn. Interesting. Zihot.